This is practice problem number two for lesson number four. Um, the problem is, what it, what what pressure is the specific volume of water, 0 0.08 meters cubed per kilogram, uh, while its temperature is 500 degrees Celsius. Now, if you want to try this problem on your own, pause the video now, and when you're done, uh, you, or you get stuck, come back, press play and either check your work or find out where you went wrong. All right, so uh, in the last video, uh, in lesson number four, I showed you that the equation that we use for linear interpolation is equal to this. So we're looking for pressure, so we're going to use, uh, for every y we're going to be using, is going to be a pressure. So either uh, specific volume or temperature is going to be X. Uh, it's probably going to be spe uh, specific volume just because temperature uh, is a little uh, harder in this case. So we have, uh, so we're going to look at our uh, tables and we're going to quickly see that it's going to be a superheated vapor because 500 degrees Celsius is a very hot temperature and not only that but you're if you look for in the saturated uh, tables, you're gonna be a little hard pressed to to find a temperature so high. So it's a superheated vapor. So we're gonna be looking at the uh, we're gonna be looking at a two different uh, pressure tables because we're uh, going to have to interpret uh, interpolate between those two tables. So we're going to look for uh, which tables uh, uh, the temperature where the entry for temperature at 500 degrees Celsius is close to 0 0.08, and you're going to see that it's going to be in between a pressure of 4.0 megapascals that's going to be P1 and P2 is going to be 4.5 megapascals so if we draw out the little, uh, little linear interpolate thing here's one, here's two if this was 4.0, this is 4.5, because this is the pressure axis, the pressure that we're looking for is going to be somewhere in between these two points. So this is... So we're also going to have to... Uh, specific volume... We have to write that down. So it's going to be, as you can see, 0 0.08 is going to fall in between 0 0.08643 and 0 0.07651. Now these are just uh, taken straight off the tables for um, a pressure of 4.0 megapascals and 500 degrees Celsius and 4.5 megapascals and 500 degrees Celsius taken straight off the table. So uh, specific volume is going to be our X's and pressures are going to be our Y's and as you can see uh, P1, be uh, P1 becomes a Y1, P2 becomes a Y2 and same thing for v uh, these little V's will become X's and where we see a regular old X is going to be the specific volume that's given to us. So the pressure that we're looking for is going to equal 4.0 times 0 0.08 minus 0 0.08643. Now that this is specific volume, so uh, meters cube kilogram, and then we're going to multiply that times 4.5 minus 1.0 megapascals all over 
0 0.07651 minus 0 0.8643 meters cubed per kilogram. So uh, well, this is going to be negative and this is going to be a negative so it's going to cancel each other out so we don't have to worry about having a negative pressure uh, luckily. And I forgot a plus sign. That should be a plus. I apologize for that. But everything else I said should still be accurate. So I'm just going to plug this into my calculator. And we find the pressure is equal to 4.324 megapascals. So you really have to, to watch yourself when it comes to uh, looking at equations because you just uh, make one little mistake and you, you can really roll with it and it could screw up your whole problem. But uh, this answer does make sense. It is in between 4 and 4.5. And it is uh, really close to the middle, but leaning toward uh, the specific volume of 2 because 0.8 is a smidge closer to 0 0.0765 than 0 0.0864. Um, so uh, that's how you do linear interpolation with thermodynamic tables.